Think about how many times you've used your fingerprint today to unlock your phone, maybe even open the door at work, or even to make a payment. Now imagine if I told you that someone could steal your fingerprint without touching anything you own. All they need is a photo, maybe even one you posted on social media today. In fact, on Instagram alone, over a billion photos are shared every day. And hidden in many of those beautiful photos are something that cyber criminals are increasingly targeting. Yes, you guessed right, your fingerprint. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Anifuna, and I'm a cybersecurity consultant. On this channel, we make online security simple for everyone to understand. By the end of this video, you would understand how fingerprint could be captured from everyday photos, why modern phone cameras makes fingerprint theft easier, which common photo poses risk exposing your biometric data online, most importantly, simple steps to protect your fingerprint online. Let's break down how this actually works. Modern smartphones have become so powerful that they can capture details smaller than a human hair. When you take a selfie or a picture making the peace sign, you're potentially capturing your fingerprint in stunning detail. In 2017, researchers at Japan National Institute of Informatics made a shocking discovery. They proved that fingerprint could be accurately copied from photos taken up to three meters away. That's about the distance of a normal selfie. The study demonstrated successful fingerprint extraction from photos taken up to three meters away using just a 12 pixel camera. With today's smartphones having cameras four times more powerful than those used in the study, that distance has likely doubled. Today, the process of stealing fingerprints has become disturbingly simple. I'm going to walk you through how criminals do this, not to enable theft, but to show you how real this threat is. First, they use an image enhancement software to isolate your fingerprint patterns. Basic authentication softwares today need about 20 to 30 such unique points to match a fingerprint. With a clear photo taken with the smartphones of today, over 40 such points can be isolated and enhanced with image enhancement softwares. The next step is particularly concerning. Using AI-powered mapping software, much of it openly available today, criminals can create a digital template of your fingerprint. Finally, they create a physical replica. The materials needed to do this are shockingly accessible. What is needed? A common 3D printer costing under $200, specialty rubber compounds found available online, basic electronic store component, total costs less than a typical dinner out. You know what? The threat of biometric data theft isn't just theoretical. In 2019 alone, security researchers discovered an exposed database containing 27.8 million fingerprint records from Suprema's BioStar 2 security system. The system was used by banks, police departments, and corporations across 83 countries. The breach exposed not just fingerprint, but also facial recognition data, unencrypted username and password, and personal information. Organizations affected by this breach included security firms, banking institutions, defense contractors, government facilities, and the list goes on. What makes biometric data theft particularly concerning is that unlike passwords which can be changed after a breach, fingerprints are permanent. Once exposed, they are compromised forever. This single incident demonstrated how vulnerable biometric data can be when stored digitally. And remember, these are professional security systems. Your personal devices often have far less protection. Every time you use a fingerprint to unlock a device or authorize a payment, you are trusting that system to protect your biometric data. The biometric case shows just how devastating the breach of the systems can be. Let's track where your fingerprints are used on a typical day. To unlock your phone, use your smart home garage if you have one, enter your office building, log into your work computer, pay for lunch, access confidential files, use a banking app, unlock a medical cabinet. Each of these points represent a potential vulnerability point. Once criminals have access to your fingerprint biometric data, they can potentially access financial assets, personal information, physical security, professional access, and the list goes on. Consider this. Major security systems now require a liveness detection. What this means is that it checks if a fingerprint comes from a live person rather than a fake copy. This is done specifically because fingerprint theft has now become so sophisticated. But many everyday systems and devices which we use, 
the ones protecting our most personal information still use the basic fingerprint scanning without this advanced protection capabilities. Where there is hope, scientists have recently developed a fascinating solution, a transparent material that is invisible to the naked eye but makes it almost impossible to capture useful fingerprint data from a photo. The material contains microscopy patterns that interfere with photography but doesn't actually affect fingerprint scanners. It is like having an invisible shield that only blocks unauthorized scanning or capturing of a fingerprint data. While we wait for this technology to become widely available to everyone, here's what you can do in the interim to protect yourself. First, be mindful of hand gestures in photos. The popular peace sign is actually one of the most dangerous and riskiest poses to take at this time. Second, maintain a distance. If you must show your hands in photos, please keep a distance of at least six feet away from the camera. Third, consider editing photos before posting them. A simple blur effect over your fingertips can make a huge difference. Fourth, review your old photos on social media. Look for anyone with clear images of your fingertips and consider blurring out the fingertips or removing the photos entirely. Finally, whenever possible, use multiple forms of authentication. Don't just rely solely on your fingerprints alone for security. Your fingerprints are unique to you. They are literally your biological signature. And just as you wouldn't post your written signature online, it's time to start thinking about protecting your fingerprint in a digital world. As cameras are becoming more powerful, protecting your biometric data isn't just optional, it is essential right now. The future of security isn't just about better locks, it's about protecting the keys that we cannot change. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more simple security tips that actually works. Till next time, thank you for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Cyber Safety Simplified, bringing you insights, tips, and tricks to keep you safe online, at work and at home.